Subscapers and welcome to the morning's end part 1 quest guide. The quest requirements are big jumpy bird hunting, sheep herder and roving elves. The skill requirements are 60 ranged and 50 thieving. The items needed are 1000 coins, 1 bear fur, 1 leather which is a soft leather, 1 magic lock, 2 pieces of silk, 1 bucket of water, 1 feather, 3 toad crunches, pre-mates work too, and if you are an Iron Man, you can get those easily from the tortoises north of the Three Gnome Stronghold Swamp. Also, you need a barrel of naphtha or a barrel of coal tar, which are untradeable and obtainable during the quest. Also, have around 30 coal in your bank and have 11 free inventory slots. The recommended items are combat equipment, food if your combat level is low, a traveler's necklace, and a super anti poison. Lastly, the recommended unlocks are Lowstones to Tyrnburn, Eagle's Peak, Tavoli, Perthorp, Port Surrey, and Yanil. Also have some quick teleport charges from using Vizvax to speed things up, and the enemies to defeat are one mourner who is between level 79 to 86. Let's go! To start off, use the Lowstone to Tyrnburn, Head northeast and follow the path. We are going to the quest start location and there is the first trap. Click on the leaves to jump across them. Continue your way and there's more traps. Click on the rocks to step over the tripwire and keep going south. If you cannot see the elves, you can world hop and try to find them that way. Talk to Elunet or Isafdar, select the first chat option, talk about morning's end. Accept the quest. You will arrive at Letia. Talk to Arianvun. Go west into the clothing shop. Right click Oronwen and trade her. Buy 5 red dice, 5 yellow dice, bank them, and buy 5 blue dice and green dice as well. Bank them as well. Grab a traveler's necklace from your bank and use the outpost option. Keep going west. We are getting our mourner gear. You should see the gate to your south. Go over there. Go through the gate and follow the path. You should see one mourner, so kill that guy. Pick up all the outfit pieces and read the mourner letter.
you still host on the Taberly. Head southeast. And we are cleaning up the gear. Cross the bridge, keep going east. Talk to Tegid. Click on the laundry basket and select the first shut option. Use the soap to one of the gear pieces and this will clear all of the gear. Right click the crystal teleport seat and select Letia. Talk to the clothing store owner. Select the chat option Do you mend clothes? Talk to her again and select the chat option I have all I need to mend my trousers. Now we need to wait a minute because the elf is fixing our trousers. I will be silent until the minute has passed. Alright, we are back. Talk to Orenven and make sure you get the trousers. Head back to the bank and now you don't need the combat gear anymore. So equip the mortar gear. Make sure you are wearing the mortar gear. Do not bring any weapons because there will be no enemies anymore. Bring the mortar leather, one soft leather, magic log, feather, three toad crunches, the pre-made spark two, the crystal teleport seed, and one free inventory slot. When you are ready, we are continuing. Use the lodestone to Arduin. We are heading to the mourner's headquarters. Head west, and use the agility shortcut. Go southwest. West of the castle, you should see the door to West Ardoin. Go through that. Go north and into the mourner's headquarters. Make sure you have your mourner gear equipped and no weapons either. Go through the door to west and enter the trap door. Go south and into the room with the quest icon. Talk to the head mourner. Select the chat options yes. 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 Enter the western room. Talk to the gnome and select the chat option you said about toad crunches and being tickled.
From your inventory, use the feather to the gnome twice. Talk to the gnome. Right click the gnome and select release. Talk to the gnome until you get the fixed device. After that, use the lodestone to bird orb and we will be doing a little bit of banking. Keep your mourner gear on and do not bring any weapons. The items bring fixed device, tarnished key, crystal teleport seed, ogre bellows if you have them. Otherwise I will show you how to get them afterwards. Bring three pieces of green dye, red dye, blue dye and yellow dye. Leave one free inventory slot. Also bring a ring of dueling with at least one charge. You might need more if you mess up. When you're ready, we are continuing. If you don't have the ogre bellows already, use the lodestone to Yanil. Keep going southeast. Go towards the dungeon icon to your south. Go past it and keep going southeast. Make your way east and there should be a cave we will enter. Go northwest and click on the ogre chest to unlock it. This might take you a couple of attempts. After it's unlocked, search it and you should have the ogre bellows. Right click the ring of dueling and select castle wars. Go south, and there is the lake, which we will use to get some toads. Make sure you do not fill the ogre bellows, they must be empty. If you have the ogre bellows with a number after their name, you must get some toads, and that way empty the ogre bellows and drop the regular toads. Use a die to the ogre bellows, and use the ogre bellows to the frogs. I'm getting every color of the frog three times, so if I mess up, there will be a couple of attempts. You might have to return to this place later when you run out of frogs, but hopefully this will be more than enough. I will be silent for now, try not to misclick, and I will get back to you when this part's timer runs out.
When you are done, use the load stone to Arduin. Head northwest, and now you need to shoot all of the sheep with the right colored toad. I'm starting with the blue ones. So click on the right color toad, use it to the fixed device, build it, and right click fire. Use the arrow buttons to find the sheep you're looking for, and after the sheep stops moving, click the fire button. If your game looks like mine, I think you can fix that by going to your resolution settings in the game settings, and by changing that. Blue ones are done. Let's continue east. All right, the yellow ones next. Unequip the fixed device, use the yellow frog into it, equip it, and right click. To fire it. Same thing, find the sheep and fire at it. Yellow ones are down. Let's head a little bit south. Green ones unequip the fixed device and use the green frog into it. Build it, right click it and select fire. Same thing as previously, find the sheep and fire at it.
now the last sheep heads out and there are the red ones. Unequip the fixed device, use a red toad into the fixed device, equip it, right click and fire. We are completely done with this part, have a little celebration, check if you have died all of the sheep before continuing. Alright, looks right. Go south and click on the agility shortcut. We are returning to the mourner headquarters. Keep going southwest. Go through the gate. Go northwest, and we need to pick up the rotten apple over there. Head to the Mourner Headquarters, make sure you have your Mourner gear and no weapon equipped. Go through the doors and climb down the trapdoor. Go south and talk to Head Mourner. Use the lodestone to Arduin. We are heading to Elena next. Go southwest and we need to do a little bit of banking. Get rid of the remaining toads. Keep the mourner gear equipped and do not bring any weapons. Have the following items in your inventory. A fixed device, tarnished key, crystal teleport seed, ogre bellows, rotten apple, a barrel of naphtha or a barrel of coal tar. If you don't have those, I will show you how to get them during the quest. And lastly, have as many free inventory slots as possible. When you're ready, we are continuing. Head west and walk across the log balance. Go to the nearby house and talk to Elena. Talk to Elena again, and now you need to wait one minute 
until Elena starts giving you the right chat options again. All right, now Elena should give you the right chat options. Use the lodestone to eagle speak. Use the nearby shortcut or any alternative route that I have drawn on the map. Go southeast. Go south to the Gnome Stronghold entrance and go through the door. Go southeast and enter the nearby gate. Pick up an empty barrel from the ground. Use the barrel to the rotten apple pile. Take another barrel from your inventory. Use the rotten apples barrel to the apple barrel. If you already have a barrel of coal tar, you can skip this part of the quest. Otherwise, use the loads on the turn run. Head south and slightly east. From your inventory, use the barrel to the tar. It is a very specific spot and the hitboxes are weird. Use the loads on the port stream, and now we need to head to the fractionation still in Remington. Go northwest. Then north. Go to the bank, and we will get some coal for the fractionation still puzzle. Fill the rest of your inventory with coal and leave one free inventory slot. Go south and pass the Melzor's maze. Head west of the chemist house, which has the green quest icon. From your inventory, use the barrel of coal tar to the fractionation still. Click on the wheel to your right twice. It is the tar regulator. Click on the pressure valve when the pressure is on the green meter. Now you can breathe a little bit. 
add some coal, look at the heat meter on your right. Add some coal and keep the heat at the green. When the heat drops a little bit, add one coal, wait a couple of seconds and keep it balanced at the green meter. If you failed, try again, otherwise we will continue. Exit the interface and you should have the barrel naphtha. Use the barrel naphtha to the apple barrel and you should have the naphtha apple mix. Use the naphtha apple mix to the sieve. After that, use the lowstone to adoin. Keep going west and use the agility shortcut. We are returning to the mourner headquarters. Unequip your weapons, make sure you have mono gear on. Go through the door. Use the toxic napta to the cooking range. Exit the house. Go to the nearby building to your west. Inside the building, go to the northwestern room with the crane sacks. From your inventory, use one of the toxic powders to one of the crane sacks. Go south into the church. Climb up the staircase. From your inventory, use one of the toxic powders to one of the crane sacks. Climb down. Go northeast and enter the mourner's headquarters. Go through the doors and climb down the trapdoor. Go south and talk to the herd mourner. Congratulations! Morning send part one completed. Use the lamps. You can get rid of the sieve, the tarnished key, fix device, the big book of banks, and keep the rest. Remember to leave a like, comment or subscribe, and see you in the next one.